Okay, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to go ahead and do a simple Visual Basic app where we're basically going to do a show hide button, exit button, and uh, we'll go ahead and add some components. So we're just going to call this show hide exit. Here you click browse and save it to whatever directory you want. Do a Windows form. Give it a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and change what's right here. Little properties window. Go A through Z. And we're going to change the text to show hide app. Okay, and I'll change that right there. All right, let's go ahead and go to our toolbox. <coughs> Get a little slow here. Go to all Windows Forms, button. Okay. And we're going to hit, uh, actually, we'll draw a few, three buttons. All right. Okay, so we'll do, we'll make them all the same size. So this one is 110 by 140. We'll put 110 by 140. Oh, 110 by 40, not 140. Oops. And let's go ahead and do this here. All right. Now we'll do is let's see they're all here. We'll select all three by hitting Shift. Not form. If you see these black handles, that means I shift select the form back. So and we're going to go to Format, Align, Lefts. There's something you could do too. If you do this, a little smaller. Forgot about that. You could go Format, Align, just make same size. Both. Now they're all the same size. Let's go to Format, Align. That's good. Let's go to Vertical Spacing, make equal. So now they're all equally spaced. That's good. And let's go ahead and make a picture box. Now what you can do here is you can go to initial image and you can put something. We're not going to do this though. Um, let's just change the back color. Okay, we'll just put a big red box here. <clears throat> this is what we're going to show and hide. Now let's go ahead and put a label. And what we're going to do is we'll put the text, we'll put show right here because it's shown. And with the border style. Fix single, and we'll put auto size to false. That will allow me to make the label on the size I want here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these, format align, go to line left, format vertical spacing, make equal. Well, it doesn't really matter, so that's fine. Okay, and let's go ahead and change the text on this button. I'm going to call this show. And then we're going to go find the thing that says name. It'll be at the top. We'll put show BTN. This will be how we refer to the button in code. We'll go over that in a second. Okay. Let's call this hide BTN. Let's go down where it says text. Put hide. And this one's going to be called Exit BTN. 
BT Info button. Let's go to the bottom. Exit. Okay. And then we could do things like, if we go up here to the font, we could open that up. We could change the size, maybe 20. You could change the back color of the button itself. Okay, maybe you want <clears throat> pink button. You know, you could change the text color too. If you open up the font, and you go to four color, you could change the text. We're not, but we could. Okay, so we'll keep this how it is. So everything's named, it's lined up. Let's change the background of our form. So let's go to back color here. Click on your form, you'll see these handles. And let's go ahead and go to back color. And let's make the back color yellow. Kind of ugly, but we'll keep it that way. All right, that's good. And let's go to start position. And we'll say center screen. So when we start the app, it'll show up in our center. Okay. Let's go ahead and double click the exit button. I just clicked it twice there. Give it a minute and the code window will pop up. And we're just going to put me dot close. Okay. What this will do is it'll, the application will close. So now you'll notice I have two tabs. I have a form tab and I have a form designer. The designer is where the app is. Double click the hide. And you say, well, let's quickly go to the form. This is called picture box one. We're going to go ahead and name it something different. We're going to call it um, show hide PB. PB for picture box. Okay. So double click that. And we'll say me.show. You just click on that. Hide PB dot visible equals true okay now we're going to go back here I'm going to go on hide I'm going to say me dot show pb dot visible equals false and that will hide it so we have our me dot close which closes the program me dot show hide pb that's our picture box that visible equals false so that means we won't see it and then the visible equals true on our show button that means we will see it well, let's do one more thing let's go back to show and we'll say me dot label one okay we're going to actually delete that And we're going to click on this label. And we're going to go up to the name here. And we'll call it state LBL. Okay, state label. So we'll say me dot state LBL dot text. So that's the text should say here. Uh, it's under show, so let's just say show. Go back here, go to our hide. I'm going to say me dot label dot text equals hide. Now, where does this dot text come from? Well, if you go in the label, and whenever we put me dot um, state label dot, you get all these things. So the text is there. You can do text line tag. See, this will all show up. Watch. Let's get rid of this for a second. So I put dot, and you'll see all of the all of these correspond to um, the properties inspector. The text is the one that you see. Okay, now hide. All right, so that's all our code. Let's go ahead and run it. Click start. Probably take a second. <clears throat> Give it a minute. Says show. You know, it's building. So it takes a minute. It's the first time I built the program with a new software, so go ahead and pause this.
Okay, so the program started, and you can tell it came up right in the middle of the screen. You go show, and it'll say show. Hide. This will hide right there. So that's show. All right, right here. Hide. And then exit. There you go. You made your first program using all the tools. Remember, we could go here, and we could go to start position. It doesn't have to be center screen. Do set up parent, whatever. Keep it at center screen. You know, you can always mess around with the size of it, you know, all these things. So that's it. Hopefully you found it informative. You understand how to use a form, start the application, align things, change the text and button colors, um, and write some simple code.